today in this video, I'm going to show you a tip, tips and tricks on Samsung phones and probably some other phones like Apple, Android Auto. So stick to the end as I walk you all through those features that you might have not used in your whole life, but it's very very useful. Let's go. Go ahead and start with the SIM ejector tool. Now for the SIM ejector tool itself, you all can make it easily by using a um, paper clip. Let me tell you how. First thing you need is a paper clip and a pen knife. Now do be careful though. And second thing you just need to unfold the paper clip as seen right here. And then open up the pen knife and cut in a ring. Once you feel like it, you can go ahead and shred it right off. And finally, the coloring will come right off. And then now, all you need to do is just create a band in the middle right here. Now I'm just gonna try to eject. And there you go. Here's the first trick. So now on the Galaxy S7, all of you know that there's a hybrid SIM slot, SIM slot if you get the dual SIM version. Well, I'm going to show y'all that it is possible to insert two SIMs inside, but there will be some sacrifice. First of all, remove the SIM tray using our method earlier while we are at it. And now it allows us to insert the first, the first SIM and the second SIM. Not only that, we've got the SD card. But now I'm gonna insert the second SIM and put it right here. This trick is only for people who are businessmen and ah. Uh, will not work if you are not a person who who travel around frequently. Now next, if you want to be if you are a YouTuber or a photographer and you do not need the other SIM card, push it right off, grab the SIM card, grab the SD and put it right into it. Mind you the slot is not that secure so it might take a couple of trial and error and just get it right back in. This trick is only useful for those who love to watch YouTube videos or watch movies. First of all, go to settings, go to display, and then go to screen resolution and set it all the way up to WQHD. This will decrease your battery life, but again, if you are a movie watcher, go ahead. And this is only for certain type of people who really love to watch movies or watch YouTube. While we are here, I would like to talk about secure startup on newer phones. First of all, go to lock screen security and then click on secure startup. This is, e this is equivalent to encrypting your device and it also works on old phones. Let me show you how. Make sure you go to settings. Click on lock screen security. Click on other security settings. That's how you'll get the encrypted device. And then after that, you just click on it. And then set this screen. It will be password. So you can't choose anything else. But for newer phones like S7 like here, you can do it. It's more of a gimmick or what? Because older Samsung phones will not get this stuff feature but for newer Samsung phones since this key right here is no longer the manual key it will be the manual key itself will be changed to the back key now to activate it you do not need to reach all the way up here to find the menu instead tap and hold the back key and it will pop up as the menu it's only used for certain phones like the Galaxy Note 4, S5, S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy Note 7, Dite, 
Galaxy Note FE, Galaxy Note H, Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy S8, Galaxy S8 Plus, Galaxy S9, Galaxy S9 Plus, Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus, S10 5G. Now to, to do this though, go Samsung Health. Now I do notice that a lot of people don't really measure their heart rate. So all you need to do is to just put it right over here. And stay quiet. So here's our heart rate after this. You all can also measure your stress, which is very very cool of Samsung like this. Finally, I would like to talk about the bonus stick. Now, if you all go ahead and uh, turn on one-handed operation, which I'll show you all how. So go to settings, advanced feature, one-handed mode. So you all can select by gesture or button. So. What this does is that if you do it as a gesture, it is way harder because you will have to drag from the top to the bottom. It is harder in that way, so that's why I recommend you all to do the home key. So what this does basically, the moment you turn it right on, your hands are way too small for the screen. You just need to triple tap the home button and it will bring your notification shape right down. This is much more like the One UI that Samsung have and also it is sort of a iPhone sort of style. So to exit it, you just need to tap either here or just here. Maybe I can lock the screen to get it back into original place. But again, only some, only some apps support this feature, not YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned my friends, comment, like, subscribe, and peace out!